Hey guys, today we're going to show you the Raptor by Predator Archery and we're going to go over assembly and how to set it up for you. So first thing when you get the bow, you're going to come in this uh, nice protective styrofoam box. You'll be able to, uh, if you don't have a case in the future, you'll be able to use this uh, later for your arrow storage on the top of the box. Um, we're going to go over the different accessories. The first thing you want to get out is your Allen wrench set, which is this guy right here included. Uh, and then we're going to take out all the accessories. We're going to have the arrow rest, which is going to come in the bag here. We're gonna pull that out. We have a stabilizer here. You have your sight. And we have your quiver. So we're gonna go ahead and take all this stuff out. The bow is wedged in here nice and snug for shipping, so just pull on the strap a little bit and it'll pop loose. Okay. Uh, the first thing we're gonna install is the arrow rest. So you have the arrest, and you will have a bag in here with the arrest bolt along with the brackets for the quiver. You can go ahead and dump out all of those. Once you have everything removed from the box, uh, we're gonna start assembly by starting with the arrest, which is this guy here. Um, first thing we're gonna need to do is from the bag that had the, a couple bolts in it, we have a, a quarter 20 bolt and a washer. So we're gonna put the washer on the quarter 20 bolt. It's gonna go through the arrest here. And then it's, once you hold the bow, it's gonna mount to the back side of the bow. You have two holes here. We're gonna go ahead and mount to the front hole um, and just screw it in a little bit by hand. You third the largest Allen wrench to tighten this up. You can see here it's mounted to the bow. Um, it's gonna be straight back and almost up against the riser. Uh, the left to right, we're gonna set in just a few minutes once we have an arrow. Uh, so that bolt, you're just gonna get that on uh, nice and tight. Again, uh, this has to be mounted on the side of the riser. Uh, some people accidentally mount it on the inside, uh, but this is uh, correct placement. Next, we're gonna mount the sight. So the sight's gonna be the two little holes right here. In a little bag, we're gonna have your two screws for the sight, as well as the sight light. So just to make it easy, I'm gonna go ahead and take the sight light. There are two holes you can mount the sight light in. Most of the time, you wanna mount it in the top hole. That way the light comes down on your pins and on your level. And you'll screw that in, just snug at the base. You'll see that your light turns on, it'll light up your pins, and you just don't want to leave it on all the time, or you'll have dead batteries, which are replaceable. So your two, you can see in your site here, there's multiple options. Uh, basically, you want to, the ones that are countersunk are the ones you'll use for the screw holes. You can do the front or the back, uh, it's personal preference, depending on how far out you want to uh, put it from the bow. The middle holes are to attach other attachments, such as bow fishing reel later on, or uh, if you use a, a one-piece quiver, you would attach to these. The boat comes with a two-piece quiver, so at the moment you won't need those. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the front holes. We have your two screws here, we're gonna put those through, and then we're gonna find the right Allen wrench for those. In this case, it is the 1 8 inch Allen wrench. We're then going to pick the bow up here, and mount it to these two holes. You want to make sure that you don't tighten one down before the other, otherwise it's going to make the alignment kind of difficult. So just get one almost all the way down, get the other one started, and then snug this one down and go back and snug the other one. Uh, so that's how you mount your sight. Your stabilizer is going to mount in your stabilizer hole right here. It's just a also a quarter 20 thread, and we'll screw in. If any of these screws happen to go in a little bit hard, it's just because there's paint in there, which is fine. Um, if as long as you got it in straight, it'll push through paint. Make that snug. Okay, so for the quiver, you have your two quiver bolts, you have your quiver hood, and your quiver arrow bracket. So this arrow bracket is the bottom. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that on first. These little stack pieces here are your um, brackets to extend the quiver away from the bow. You have two sets of them, uh, or you have four pieces. You can see you can use uh, preferably two per quiver um, piece. So we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom and attach two pieces on here. You'll notice that it's a hexagon here, which will also fix the hexagon on the bow. Here there's a hexagon. Um, this one right here, you're just going to put it in like such so that it's turned straight with the bow. Uh, and then hold that in. Go around to your other side and put the bolt through. In this case, it's the 532nd Allen wrench is the one you'll want to use. And you just want to tighten that down uh, hand tight. 
All right, as for the hood, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put on your mounting bracket for the top, like so. Just gonna put these two pieces on here. Uh, you'll then put this on the top hexagon. You can see they're facing each other. Just go ahead and hold this on, flip it around, put your quiver bolt through the riser using your 532nd Allen wrench. Again, just make that kind of hand tight. And that concludes the assembly of all your parts. Now we're gonna show you how to adjust it for you and kind of tune it up. Uh, it is best when we do recommend to go to an archery pro shop just to get this professionally tuned. But uh, if you're on a tight budget or you wanna to try to do it yourself in the beginning, we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk you through those steps. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line the arrow rest and the sight. Uh, so what we'll do is you'll wanna look down the string uh, with one eye closed and line the string up with the seam that you see in the grip. Uh, once you have one eye closed and that is lined up, you'll wanna move your arrow rest to where this hole is being cut by your alignment. So if you're looking down the string, line this up, you should also be cutting this hole. And the second piece is you should be lined up with the pin tip. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move the arrow rest over and your sight over in order to accomplish that right now. Uh, you're going to be moving the arrow rest left to right uh, using the 532nd Allen wrench here. You just loosen this up a little bit and slide this over. So I'm going to go ahead and look real quick. Okay, so to move your sight uh, left to right or up and down, we're going to get these two gang adjustments here. Uh, left and right is going to be the top one. We're using the 964 Allen wrench that so comes on the included set. You'll then loosen this up just a little bit. Line into the bow, you're gonna pull it to where your pins are also directly in line with the string and the arrow rest hole. Uh, and this is a good starting point. Uh, don't be alarmed if it doesn't line up like this when you shoot because due to different uh, ways that people hold the bow and eyesight and eye alignment and things like that, it may be slightly off. So we're just gonna tighten this. All right, now that we've adjusted the sight over, you can see that aligning the string directly down the air rest also blocks out the pins. So you, that's how we know we're in proper alignment to start with. Uh, one other adjustment I wanna mention is this is your cable guard. It's what holds your cables out of the way of your arrow. Uh, this is made to be adjustable. Uh, behind the rubber logo here uh, are the two screws that hold this down. So if you need to adjust this over, you can just peel this off, uh, take off the two screws, or loosen the two screws, and turn it uh, for more or less arrow clearance. Uh, if by chance it ever happens to come loose, that's also how you can tighten these. Uh, if you adjust it or if it comes loose, add a little bit of Loctite to those two screws and you won't have any issues. Okay, next we're gonna adjust the pins. We're gonna use a 3 32nd Allen wrench. And on the back side, we're gonna just go ahead and loosen the one here. So we're gonna loosen the top one because that's gonna be the first pin we slide in. So we're gonna loosen this and we wanna slide this as high as possible to leave, leave us room for all of our other pins. So in this case, we're gonna put it up here. Uh, we'll sight this in for 20. Um, the general rule of thumb is sight this in for 20 and then put in your 30. So your 30 pin should be a little bit below your 20. About a quarter inch is a good starting point. Um, if you do this, what we'll do next is when we go out and shoot, we'll sight in our 20 pin by moving the main gang adjustment. So that'll be this whole head will move up and down uh, using the 532nd screw for up and down. Um, once that 20 set, we'll then set each pin after that. So 30 followed by 40, 50, and 60. Um, 10 yards a piece is a general good rule of thumb. Not everybody does that. You can set it fives or twenties. Uh, just note that you're gonna have to split pins for anything between those. All right, so after you get all sighted in, your sight should look a little bit like this. Um, each pin you'll notice is slightly farther apart than the pin before it because your arrows are slowing down over distance and time. Um, so if you just wanna throw them together and uh, have a good starting point, you can just adjust your pins to a gap similar to this. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to adjust is our loop. Um, when these come on the bows, they are pretty tied, pretty loose, so you can freely spin them around the string. Sometimes you can also slide them. Um, that is normal to be set up that way because you need to adjust it. Uh, if they're pushed together, you can also just pull one down. And uh, the alignment for this, we use a couple tools. A bow square is the correct tool to use. All right, so we're using a bow square here. Um, I have lined this for the bottom of the arrow rest here and we're gonna push this up to about 1 16th from the bottom uh, knot. Uh, if you're looking from the top knot, you're at about uh, 3 eighths, roughly, um, to 5 16ths, and you'll need enough spacing in here for your arrow knock, so that may change depending on uh, 
uh, what the width of your knock is. Uh, once you get this set, you can kind of rotate these around so that at rest, it is pointing back from behind the bow. Okay, so it's pointing straight back. Um, there's a few different options you can use for tools. I'm using a set of D-loop pliers uh, in which it's gonna put pressure on one side and we're gonna stretch this out a little bit. So that's just tightening it up and now it should be much harder to move. Um, once you do this, if you try to force it to move, you may mess up your serving because you're gonna be pushing your serving. Um, so if in the event that you tighten this down and then need to move it extreme uh, amounts because you change the air rest or something down the line, it's probably best off to cut off the loop and just retie a new one. That way it can be adjusted correctly before tightened down. Um, other than that, you have your keep sight is going to be the next piece. I would just test it where it comes. It's at about six inches from the factory, depending on where you move this loop to. Uh, the height you need for your, for you depends on your draw length. So it's about six inches now. It is adjustable. You can pull the bottom tie a little bit, pull the peep down slightly, and then pull the bottom tie down all the way. Um, you can move this to whatever is comfortable when you're shooting. All right, the next two things we're going to discuss are adjusting the weight. Uh, that's done through the limb bolts here. So your limb bolts, adjust your weight. Uh, there's a top and a bottom limb bolt. Uh, overall, you're gonna want to ensure that you adjust them both the same. Uh, when you get the bow, it's gonna be about five turns out on both limbs, which is about 53 to 54 pounds. Um, it's roughly four pounds per turn, so the bow will go up to 70 uh, and down to about 30. It's gonna vary a little bit based on the draw length you have set, which we'll talk about next. Um, again, make sure they're even, they're both five turns out, which means when you first get the bow, you can go five more turns out for a total of 10, or you can go down all the way to uh, maxed out 70 pounds, which would be uh, turn the bolts in all the way. And um, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the draw length, and the, that should be everything you need. So adjusting your draw length, you'll want to loosen the uh, lock screw here, and just about a half turn out, and then the in outer screw that's in the different holes is for your draw length. Uh, the bow is going to come set in number eight, which is 28 and a half inches. Uh, look at the chart that is in the top left now uh, to pick your correct draw length. And you will want to use the chart that's on the right to determine your correct draw length if you don't already know it. You'll take your wingspan divided by two and a half and come up with your draw length. Then look at this chart here and determine what your overall draw length is. Uh, the outer ring number of numbers is the even number, so two through 12. The inner ring is the odd numbers, is one through 11. Um, as mentioned, it's going to come in number eight, which is a 28 and a half inch draw. Uh, I'm setting this up for a female, so I'm going to looking for a 25 and three quarter inch draw length based on her wingspan, and so I've changed this to number three. You'll need to do this on both the top and the bottom. So on the top cam, you're also set on number three. Uh, there's a few things that you do need that are not included with this bow purchase is your a release. Uh, which is something that's going to hook to the loop here and arrows. You never want to draw back and let go without a Arrow that's called dry fire uh, stickers are included on the limb saying do not dry fire uh, Doing so will void your warranty and possibly break the bow a couple of additional features included on the Predator archery Raptor is the string stop which is going to help with accuracy and bow noise it also comes with a pair of limb vibration dampeners one major feature that sets the Raptor apart from other entry-level compounds is that our cams and modules are 100% machined aluminum. 90% of all bows in this price range have plastic modules which make the bow unusable when they crack. In the rare event that you ever need to use your warranty, Predator Archery is based in the United States for easy communication. We hope you enjoyed this video and feel confident in your purchase of the Raptor by Predator Archery.